Okay, what I got going on here today is I've done video on this up in here a couple years ago, maybe a year ago too, because I had lots of FEO, FE202, FE203 blood, and also lots of uh, sulfur, and because this is all sandstone. Okay, what I'm, uh, I'm getting ready to, because what's happened here is I want to get up in there and show you some round object sandstone underneath that up in there in those videos, but I couldn't because it's so steep up in there, I couldn't climb up in there. But now we've had some slides and some trees have fallen down and I can think I can get the drone up in there and we can take a look at some of that. And uh, hopefully I won't hit nothing. Got a lot of trees are crashed through the limbs up in there and broken. And... So I'm gonna try to take the drone up in there and get video of that. And like I was saying in my last video, wh where, where, is, where is all the silicon dioxide coming from? Where is all the sand, the sandstone? I know sand, I know the uh, sandstone erodes down becomes sand, or we know a lot of erosion we get our sand from, but where is the silicon dioxide coming from? What was it before? What, where is all this sandstone coming from? What was it before? Why is it shaped like this? Where is it coming from? And why am I finding so much sulfur in the sandstone? Because it has nothing to do with volcanism. Because you'll, you know, that's one of the addictive things of uh, volcanism is you'll find sulfur. A lot of sulfur is usually involved. And there's no, why am I having sulfur leaching out of sandstone? Ask yourself that. Has nothing to do, to do with volcanism. It never had no heat applied. Nothing to do with heat. So why am I getting sulfur? <laughs> Man, I wish I could get up in there myself. Anyways, we're going to get the drone out and get, go up in there and take a look at some of that. And hopefully not hit some of these limbs. There's limbs everywhere, so... Now when I fly this with a drone, I should be able to find some sulfur up in there and I'll show you what I've been talking about. Okay. Now I understand silica and stuff like that. You know, silica is in human beings, it's in plants, it's in animals. It's also in the earth. If it's in plants and animals and living tissues and things, why is it in the earth also? Why is, why is silica, like in lava, the content of silica is higher like in uh, North America than it is like in Indonesia? Why, why, why is that? I know why. Because the earth was alive and its carcasses too, its creatures too. That's why there's silica in the earth because there's silica in us also. There's silica. <laughs> so, you know, I wish I could get up in some out of there, but I just can't. It's just too steep and I can't get the drone in because of, it's just too thick a timber. But you're going to see, you know, this sulfur in sandstone leaching out. You know, I've showed it before. But now it's got me really curious because I'm understanding sulfur more in the body and all that. And so I've been really working on that. Look at this. This taffany. Okay, this is sandstone. I don't see any sulfur here, but big old lots of silicon dioxide. Why? Where did, where did it all come from? What was it before it was this? What was it? Just come from nothing? Thin air? No. So what was it? All right, let's fly this. Okay, I'm trying something a little different this time because there's some things I wanted to kind of explain as we go into this here with the drone. <clears throat> I'll kind of explain why I'm looking around so much with the, the drone. You saw at times you see me doing a lot of looking down and around to the sides. I'm flying in a lot of timber here. And uh, I can't tell what's below me and I'm afraid of sitting down on top of something or to the sides of me sometimes because the motion sensors won't pick up those small limbs and so I'm trying to see where I'm at because when I'm looking around just with a visual eye, it's in three dimensional but my three by three screen is two dimensional so it really throws things off. Now this is a washout now because these, you look up here and see that root wad right there. I'm coming into this trying to get through these trees here. And uh, I'm trying to get that top piece up there and you'll see those rounds, they kind of look like round objects. And right there in the middle of the screen up towards the top. I've tried to crawl up there before, also if you look to your left too there's some. But uh, this is all sandstone and I've realized that this sandstone is about a 20 to a 30 foot coating on these mountains. And underneath the coating, which is actually the skin, you run into the uh, the anatomy uh, more of uh, the tendons and the fibrils like that. 
As you can see, they kind of look like circles all around. I believe it's just worn off that way, but they're, I, I find these little circular objects. But this is actually just layers of the, the skin on this, this creature. And I've never been able to crawl up in here. There's a lot of this I want to get up into and show you guys because it's just phenomenal. But I look how straight up and down it is. So it's really hard to climb up in there. I'm thinking about trying to get in there though and maybe bring some more of this to you guys. This is really some incredible stuff. A lot of it's falling away and laying down in the river bottom and now. I'm trying to find some places where I can come in and out of here with the drone. It's a gorgeous day, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? But what I'm doing, I'm trying to back up and find these spots so I can go in with the drone, maybe get in there. I'm trying to find some more uh, sulfur. It's so hard to see these little small trees. You know, afraid of sitting down on some. spot to go in here. Not smash into a tree. As you can tell it's kind of a nightmare flying in and around that stuff. <laughs> Sometimes I have to go back out and get my bearings where I'm at. Find like I said, looking from the screen compared to looking in the visual eye, it really is a lot harder than it looks. When I first found these, um, I noticed a lot was peeled away and I was running into a lot of taffany, which was, I was thinking it was a syno synovial membrane, and uh, which I'm still sure is on some of it, but some of it's not. It's just, um, just the rotted flesh, basically. It's sandstone. I mean, you know, where did it all come from? Where did all this silicon dioxide on the planet come from, all this sandstone? And I know people will try to tell you, what well, came from the center of a star? That's where we came from, the center of a star, and we just evolved. Yeah, <laughs> you talk about having a belief system. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I didn't come from the center of no star, and neither did you. But anyway, what I was getting into is, uh, I was thinking these were like almost like warts or something, or something wrong with the uh, the skin, you know, the roughness of the skin and just deformities. I believe a lot of it just peeled away, and that's why it's so distorted on Google Earth, because a lot of it just is rotted. It's uh, eroded so bad that you can't really see what it is now. It's like a good day to go fishing. But inside of all these mountains is the tendon fibrils or the muscle fibrils depending on what part you know I get into you can see that all got blown down this winter uh, I might be able to crawl up in there now with a GoPro I probably should have edited out some of this but this is just a full-length video I just run it raw Now this is a spot I ran to before I ran to a lot of Fe202 black blood and a lot of sulfur. 
uh, but I think it was off to the left of this piece here. You can see to the right right there we're running into sulfur right now. See that yellow? That bright yellow. And this is not, I can't remember the name of uh, this, this uh, lichen. This is not a lichen. Okay, this is actual sulfur leaching out. There, where I live we have sulfur water. Our water is sulfur. Okay, it smells like rotten eggs because we have a lot of sulfur. We're all sandstone with a lot of sulfur. <laughs> Everybody has wells that are sulfur. See that big old root wad on that tree right in front of you right there that blew down? It's in the screen. Devil's Tower would have something like that, only bigger to hold it up and keep it blowing over in the wind. <laughs> now look at this here. See the sulfur in there? Now see that really black right there below the sandstone? That black in there, that's, that's uh, Fe202 blood right there, that black blood with that sulfur on it. That's deoxygenated blood. I'm not kidding you. It's almost like a shale. And below it is more sandstone. And I still ain't figured out all those circles. But that's layers of layers of skin, tissue. It's on a scale you can't even imagine. That's why people are having a hard time understanding this, is because it's you can't imagine the scale. Alright, I think we're about out of here. Thanks for joining me, folks, and uh, more videos to come, I hope.